<laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, guys, so today for you, I've got a quick video. I just want to make this because I want to show you something that I think is important to not only zombies, not only the campaign, not only to you just Call of Duty in general, but to the whole world, right? Everyone needs to know this. There is something within Call of Duty Zombies that has been hidden from us, and it's the computer terminal within Black Ops 1. Now, I know a lot of you guys may have known about this. If you're not new to Call of Duty, if you were around during Black Ops 1, then I can guarantee a ton of you know about the computer terminal. You can go into it, you can access it by putting in six secret passcodes. But what you may not have known is if you dig even deeper into that terminal, you can get some secrets about zombies that even to this day are relevant. You can use secrets from the VBush terminal and relate them to our new zombies maps, especially Zetsuba no Shima, because in the VBush there was information from Shino Numa. And as we know, Division 9 first worked at Shino Numa, and that information can relate to our new zombies map or our current one, Zetsuba no Shima on Pompeii Island. So yes, this information is going to be very important, I believe, for even DLC 3 and DLC 4. If you want to check this out for yourself, I will leave the link to it in the description. You can actually access it in the computer if you want, but you know what? It's easier if I show you guys up on screen how to do this on the wiki because it's, it's just much better laid out. It's easier to understand, and um, I believe this is going to help a ton of you guys out. So, like I said, the computer terminal in Black Ops 1. Once you enter some secret passcodes, you can get some information. If you take a look here, we have some information about the campaign. For this video, you know what? That's not too important, but we go down and we get some information about about the Rook, specifically one of our operatives that went into there to rescue Peter McCain, John Banner. It says, Dr. Bush, I was browsing the Verruckt archive and I found an interesting scrap of paper. It was found in a small room with nothing inside but bloodstains and an empty browning. Wasn't there a John in the expedition in the asylum? Here is what the paper read. My name is John, they call me Banner. I once worked at a Tex-Mex cabana but now I am here as walking dead near with nothing on me but a bandana. And as we know, John was one of the four Marines that was sent in to rescue Peter McCain at the Verrucht Asylum, which is important because Verrucht is a storyline video that I've recently covered on my channel. And I believe it's still a map that has many secrets to it. And in DLC 4, as we know, Treyarch are linking all of the information up, all of the zombies maps up together into this one whole, I don't, I don't know what you'd call it, this one whole summoning key thing, I don't, I don't know, but I believe Verrucht is going to be brought up again, and as for this information is very important, we scroll down even further, we get some interesting stuff about Dead Ops Arcade, so we just got a couple of images here, we got the marine, we got a zombie, we got the space monkey, <clears throat> I don't believe they were called space monkeys in uh, Dead Ops actually, I don't know what they were called, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, so we go further down and we get some top secret information about Darius. You can see we have test case A0001. Greetings, I am Dr. Ludovic Maxis. Today is the 20th of January 1942. My daughter has a dog and its name is Fluffy. Then it finishes with this file is one for storage and the data servant. So anyway, we scroll even further down and it says element 115 overview. This has given us an overview of how Element 115 works and where it was found. The sources include a meteorite found in Shino Numa, which we can see this big meteorite, Tungaska, Groom Lake, Darice, and the Moon, which is interesting because this information was around during the start of Black Ops 1, and Moon was the last map we had for Black Ops 1. So we even had clues to Moon. Uh, you know, b if before the first DLC for Black Ops 1, which is awesome. It says the applications include teleporter technology, power source for the DG2, and general weapon upgrades, which would be pack-punched weapons. And then the side effects include the reanimation of dead cells, which I guess tells you how the zombies are created. The 115 reanimates dead cells. We go further down, we've got some more top secret information about Darius. It says... A summary of the ray gun. The prototype was developed by Dr. Ludwig Maxis. The origins was at the Darice facility. It was actually based on designs seized from the Rising Sun facility at Shino Numa. And that's right, I recently did a video telling you guys that the blueprints for the ray gun were actually first created and invented by Division 9 themselves at Shino Numa, which is interesting. Something like this you wouldn't usually find within the game. It's powered by Element 115. The Raygun works with microwave technology and discharges a burst of green plasma energy between 220 and 230 volts. And the second generation, which is the Mark II, is currently under development by H. Porter. Or actually, that may be the pack punch version, the Porter's X2 Raygun, uh, but it's to reduce excessive peripheral damage, which is interesting. We go down even further again, some more top secret information, this time about the Wonder Waffle DG2. The summary it was prototype developed by Dr. Edward Richthofen. The origins 
is the Dries facility. It's powered by Element 115. The DG2 carries 200k amperes of chained electrical energy, and that just tells us a little more information about it, which is not really too interesting to our zombie storyline. Again, some more top secret information about Dries. The experiments continue. By the way, this is by Dr. Maxis, this is a personal file. He says, The experiments continue and the Reichstag call it a success, but these creatures cannot be controlled, obviously on about the zombies. Their minds are lost, they are automotons. This is what the Reichstag wanted. Between the teleporters and our undead army, they believe the world will be theirs. But the undead cannot be contained, it spreads far worse than I ever imagined. It will be the death of us all, which we know it, it, it kind of was during the end of Moon, or at least for everyone else besides our four characters. The zombie infection was the death of everyone. We go further down again, some more top secret information. This time, it's from servant entry B67129. The experiments ongoing observed a new effect. As a result of the experiments, Dr. Edward Richthofen, as a witness, outlined as follows Tank Dempsey, Nikolai Blensky, and Takuya Masaki. Subjects display unique side effects compared to the previous subjects. Baseline physique remains intact, but all specific memories have been lost. Dr. Richthofen will continue observations. The bit about this that I find interesting is it says, outlines as follows, Tank Dempsey, Nikolai Blensky and Takeo Misaki. The subjects display unique side effects compared to previous subjects. This is telling us that there were previous test subjects before Dempsey, Nikolai, and Takio. We know the previous subject before these was Pablo, the Mexican, but this says subjects, meaning there was more than one. Maybe it's just me being stupid, but I've never heard of other subjects beside from Pablo before these three. If you have, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. That's definitely some interesting information that you can find within here. Again, we go down even further and it says Dr. Max's personal file. I fear Sophia has grown unnecessarily attached to me. I catch her looking in my direction, but she quickly looks away. I admit she is an attractive specimen, but I should send her away. She is a distraction from my work. My mind wanders thoughts of her. We go even further, coming towards the end of this, and it says another Dr. Max's personal file. Edward has grown impatient. He insists of accelerating our projects, regardless of the fact that the 115 is limited. He grows angry, short, it was a quick mistake to invite him. He could not be trusted. He watches me. He watches Samantha. He watches Sophia. And his latest creation, the monkey, it screams when set aflame. Then again, perhaps that's the 115 effect in my mind, and I can no longer discern. As we know, Dr. Maxis kind of took Richtofen into his own arms. He brought him up as kind of like his own son, and then invited him to the Doris facility to work alongside of him. And this message tells us that now Dr. Maxis is becoming concerned of Richtofen, and he kind of regrets it because Richtofen is doing all of these strange things. He's watching Samantha, as we know he experimented on Samantha behind Maxis' back. He's watching Sophia, as we know Maxis became, not Maxis, um, Richtofen became kind of jealous of Sophia because those two had something between them. We get another short message, it says, Greetings, I am Ludwig Max. Today is the 20th of January 1942. My daughter has a dog, its name is Fluffy. We go further down and we get the recordings from Shino Numa. Now there's no point reading this out because you can actually just, you know, go and listen to the radios yourself. But then we come to the very end and we get a note from Peter's handler. Peter, a character that's recently brought, been brought back in to our zombie storyline. It says the handler's note. We successfully inserted, and this here actually translates to Peter. So starting again, we successfully inserted Peter into group 935 as a research assistant based out in Munich. The current location was unknown. Most recent communique indicated that 935 experiments are barely under control. Attempts to secure all visible Group 935 research development 115 technology has been unsuccessful, and we fear that Peter's identity has been compromised. We are sending in a marine recon unit to extract Peter from the asylum before it is too late. Operation leader will be one, and this translates to Tank Dempsey. The asylum must be contained at all costs. We go further down and we get some unseen images of this one as Doris. We also see this one says Gov after hours, which I believe is five. We go down, we get Kino Ellie, and we get another one of Kino, and then finally Kino and Kino and Kino. So we, we get a load of secret information that we have not actually recognized before. And for me, this is very important. And for a lot of people, I think this can be very helpful. If you didn't know about this, then drop a like rating. Definitely check it out for yourself. It's much easier to just view it on the wiki. But if you want to go into the computer terminal, enter the secret passcodes. So I think this is very very cool make sure you subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and as always we'll see you in the next video thank you and goodbye